devil. Sometimes you have to confuse the devil and let the devil believe that. <laughs> the other day I say I'm going to dance hall. Everybody take it on them say she, oh the queen is coming back. That queen has been dead, my lord. Hey, I'm coming with the sword of fire. I'm coming with Jesus Christ. I'm not coming as your lady, sir. I'm coming as a Pentecostal woman. So, viewers and subscribers, you guys heard it on a cell from Marian R, Lady Saw, Mouth. And I'm not going to say Lady Saw because she is not here with us anymore. She is being D and alive. You're not vanished. And it's Lady Saw, not Marian R. So, well, Lady Saw, I tried to say the other day, she. Did a live and she said she is coming back to dance hall. Uh, you know what dance hall stay ready to take her crown, just like how oh, Spice with Aguan and Shensia. You know, a lot of people was talking about it. Now she addressed it, say, them get chick. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, a chick. She chick them. Lady Sa dead. Lady Sa not there no more. She coming as Marian Hall. Preach, she a come preach, viewers and subscribers. So, Uno tell me where Uno think about that. Now, we are gonna speak about topic like Bojo Bantan finally speak out. Me, I actually show Uno the video too about him visa where him get and the people them that bash him. Him address it. And we also I gonna speak about which me gonna show on our video Fanta Moja hospitalized. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Uno have to remember the artist. Rasta got so. So right now, I'm start off with Bujo Bantan. Viewers and subscribers, so I remember what year Bujo Bantan getting visa after him son passed away. And you know, him link up with DJ Khalid overseas. And the DJ Khalid posted everyone was so shocked. And I said, oh, comes Bujo getting visa. And Bujo did the pass such a charge. You know, the white lady charge. So only hear Buju Bantan say, Buju Bantan say, them say he would have never come back to the United States of America. And they must say a bag of things. Cause as I say, him get charged, the white lady charged and run so much years. So they must say, no, sir, no way. But now, he must say, Father God, I him do it. People don't tell me think about that. Now, viewers and subscribers, they're going to make you know what I'm going And now, with Bantan, Moja, which are the same brother here, we are we are talking about Buju Bantan little while break the news. Him always have a tick him have a TikTok page when talk about artists and what happened. No mega say this allegedly happened to Fantan Moja. A lot of people are commenting and say get well soon. A lot of people believe. No me I share this with you to take a listen. Want the item send up some positive energy. Out in the atmosphere, out in the universe, for Phantom Moja, one of the great artists, one of the warrior. I want to hear them send up some positive energy for him. Phantom Moja, I wish the eye a speedy recovery. I may mean, ask everyone to wish Phantom Moja a speedy recovery get better soon my brother because you saw what really happened to the eye out in a martinique i out on the back I feel it up to the eye seeing i mean know the eye is a strong soldier so stay firm in the gideon and everything i got airy so people when you just wish phantom moja and send out some positive energy out in the universe the Fanta Moja. And the people them, when me hear I say, them not sorry for Fanta Moja. Member say, every dog of them deer and every puss of them four o'clock. No, you can't influence me figure do one of that thing for me, but I reggae music me and sing. No, viewers and subscribers, me up nothing, no gossip. I'm gonna say, this allegedly, and as I said, the brother here always 
accurate with him information when him speak out as a rasta man but me just say hope oh, no 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 go so because me no want nothing for go so and nothing happen to the rasta you know what i mean we have to hope the best for him now on the comment and tell me what you think about this in the comment section the man here where I work for the garbage truck, then come and empty every garbage and left mine. So the man will pick them father so they not empty junk. Yeah? Yeah, man, they left empty everybody rubbish and left mine. So the man will pick them pass so they not empty no pampas. So, I have video this to put on social media for everybody to see. Right. Hey. You're too blood clad, right, boy. You don't have to pick them for you can't empty that junk. People. When there's some people really know the serious nature of the case with Rygin King right now, with them find him with firearm and ammunition, he was in the he was in the company of some people where them find firearm. You understand me? I say in a new year, you don't know how serious that is. When they don't know say Rygin King could be looking at anywhere between three to fifteen years, depending. After they go to them ballistic and, and sitting sitting band that the fire arm there. If he have no pip on it. Eh? So some people attack more well like say, I bring Jamaica people, I bring them right into what go on and show the news come out, say, him get charged and him never in that position there. As a big artist, you should have never have no man around you where you can illegal fire arm, brother. Some man all I say, you're the paranoid to it, man shot you already and ray ray ray. But you're there one place where so you don't mix up with certain man. You run away from Jamaica. You live a foreign. You put all of that behind your brother. Brother, what kind of life them that you want to live a Jamaica plus go live a foreign, brother? Where you what? Where you not get man where you have them lies for your arm to back of you in a foreign day. No, as a man when I'm wheelchair right now, I go through certain things. Right? And you know if you go in up a prison, brother. Remember, you know, what make a man never own up here and say I feel him from day one. You know, reach the stage where Rag in the even if you get charged right now and have to go look both if you go a court. Jan, you know, me hope say he come out of this thing, you know. I don't know if, if when he come out, he would have learned a lesson better than when, when, when he learned now, but I hope say he come out of it, but Jan, you know, he should have never reached Rygin King again. Nothing to do with gun and them something. They should have never reached Rygin King again. Especially in a foreign, brother. Illegal firearm, brother. Come on, man. I saw the cookies when you did their world with them, brother. Right now, me see all your woman get. Remember, you know. You know, no, say Rygin King lose a woman already. You know, the whole knockings and clappings of the Guana Jamaica. When Rygin King get caught up. You understand me, I say? You don't know some whole heap of things where go on back of that. Come on, man. You don't have no idea what go on, man. Reagan King, this right now, a judgment could have reached you, dog. Any of them find Reagan King guilty in America for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. You understand me, I say? Rurself dopey go dip on that they that head there. You hear me, I say? Ragging King a look on 3 to 15 year in a prison in a America. And I can guarantee you no, any time them in come out of prison, they must send him back in the yard. And remember, if you did their yard already, you think tough. And now you go go to foreign and live all long. And certain man not to rate you again. And you link chop with certain man and you think not powerful again. Brother, if you go to yard, the man, they must go dirt you. That's the main reason why you run away in the first place. And this is enough of the artists that they are foreign. Brother, if you don't run away from Jamaica because of badness. Brother, it don't make no sense to go foreign and pick up badness, brother. Because number one, they might go buy to me in a foreign. The police, they might go buy to me and not get away. And the man, they might go dip in the back of the yard. And as they dip in the back of the yard, you get brushed. Remember me tell you that. You not go get brushed. So you better if you decide to you not run away from the bad place of Jamaica, brother. You not a musician. You not go for and go do no music, brother. And go and go up on a positive part, brother. And low out the badness. You not low out the badness. Rygin King, brother. As a leader. As an artist. 
Big dance hall artist who make much money off of your music, brother. Some little man will run your brother, you just make the man them know say Rrr. You can't in a foreign way, you own the place, safe heaven right now, cause you're running from Jamaica because I want reach you, you know. So you own go safe heaven right now. You have to tell me say you mash it up or you gonna make man mash it up. Rigging King, Janu. Me hope the worst no reach you still, but a foreign that. And them no pet and powder. And money can't buy out certain things, so. Jan, we have to just sit down and wait a year, but Reagan King, if it is anything like what many people think, I want me to think right now the fact that them charge you for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. If it comes in with any jail time, God go with the Reagan King. Believe. Reagan King, my general. Here we are going now, brother. You see enough artists? Them get themselves in a bigger trouble because them don't know if they avoid the media. Brother, everybody here was going with you. They're in all newspaper, they're everywhere. You understand me? I say, brother, that certain and certain things happen. You see, when things like them, they happen, Reagan King. Listen to me, I tell you, brother. You see, the letter where you put out, the statement where you put out to your fans, them, that is a great move. You understand? But yes, if you come on the media, brother, chat, 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 and I do video, I try to explain this, and I try to explain that. Brother, you not do them thing, there, brother. Sometimes, the media can make a bad situation even worse, brother. And enough artists don't know this. The best thing you can do more time when things in the media, and even if it's in the media, I try to tarnish your name. Don't try to come, come clear up nothing with the media, my general. Don't do that. Just do what you need to do to clear up your name and restore back your name and your reputation if it's something with damage it. But don't come on media come explain nothing. Because three quarters of the time, it makes a bad situation worse. So Reagan King, the best thing me can tell you, instead of come and attack the media, attack this as muddy, that this muddy, and where them say from where them not say, leave that alone. And do what you need for doing in the background and make that work. Low out the media because it can make a bad situation worse. Remember when me tell you that. Yeah. So people, last night me and was anti or something, you know. And um, by the way, it was it was phenomenal. Congratulations on anti Dana. Sell off. Well, last night me and was sit and thing and. You know, I don't know my people who are familiar with the way I MC things, you know, that it's, um, I don't plan stuff, right? It, it, it's organic, it's unpredictable, it's um, improvisational, like, not even I know what I'm going to do next, you know, it's just a natural flow. I might look at talent that, all right? So I juggle and I do my thing and whatever, and, and you know that there's always an emphasis on humor for me, alright? So I juggle and I do my thing and I run my little joke, the man thing, and the audience I respond to what I do and so forth. And so while I do it, you know, there was this lady in the front. And she had on what I thought was a, a bland stare, you know? Bland. When everybody I love, she just had this bland stare. So initially, me never think not night. Me just I say, well, you know, she just not feel the joke, them or whatever at that moment, you know. But it, it to me, our, our stare just stand out, you know. And as um, we progressed and and you know throughout the um, the evening, and I'm doing my thing, and you know, usual, you know, my little thing and whatever vibes and them something. Like that. Right true, she just was giving me this bland stare all along. So I began to interpret it that she just now feel me, you know, or whatever, you know. But um, after a while, you know, I started to think that, you know, she might be one of those people who don't really care for Ragashan. So she came to the event. And um, because, you know, I've had a few of those throughout my um, career. Uh, you know, you have some people don't like me. Everybody can't like everybody. I don't like everybody. <laughs> so everybody can't like me. So I get it. I understand that. So I just thought that I, you know, she was one of those people. Like, whatever, Raga. <laughs> Nothing you do is, you know, going to impact me in any way. 
because I'm just not feeling you, you know? And um, this went on, you know, throughout the night, you know, hour after hour. So sometime down in the show door, I decided to, um, you know, again, spontaneously, the spirits say, engage her. And um, I made some comment, like complimenting her on her, on her hairstyle, which was, um, you know, which was a little different, but, you know, but still attractive, you know, and thing like that. So when I complimented her on her hairstyle, you know, she gave me that fixed, that same fixed, bland stare, you know. So I compliment her again, I say, you are you be attack, you know, big up your hairstyle or whatever. Whatever it is I said or whatever. And people people get it, you know, you compliment her in a my way and people are laugh. She na laugh. So I'm kinda, you know, calmly insisted, listen, I'm talking to you about, you know, your hair look good. And um the blonde stare maintained, you know? At which point, um, a couple of people at her table, them touch her and say, you know, are you raga attack or whatever. And um, no, no, she turned around and she looked behind her as if to say, oh, who am I talk to behind me? And, and I said, no, are you me attack? And it was at that point that time some people looked on her and said, are you raga attack? At which point, she raised her hand and, you know, and touched her ear and, and indicated, signed, that she, she's not hearing, she can't hear. And I felt so, <laughs> I felt so awful, you know, because I'm a daddy a judge woman, you know. Did they judge her and, and I said this and that about her and think it was um, something for the way, you know, she not liking a ragashanti or whatever the case may be. And it had nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. You know, so there I was um, bringing my luggage, you know, bringing my experiences and essentially imposing it on her. When she's in her own space, you know, a deal with fear, her own challenges. Perhaps she was there, you know, in her world, trying to read my lips, you know, read my body language, which is, you know, what um, people in her situation usually do to make sense of, you know, to attempt to make some sense of what is going on around them. And, and I was judging her. I was wrong. <laughs> And so often many of us do that, you know. We will see people I deal with things certain way or probably have certain look on them face or do certain things certain way or say certain things certain way and and right away we start to interpret them through our experiences and we start make it about us. We start make it about our biases, our insecurities, our fears and whatever. When the people them do every day they so at all. And we judge them and sometimes put them down and, you know, assume the worst of them when nothing no goes so, you know? And so we have to be careful. Yeah, nothing wrong. We learn from our experiences and our experiences inform, you know, what you were going through in the present. So that is definitely relevant. But at the same time, we need to be careful the way we give supremacy to our experiences and our interpretation of events and then we apply them to people in the present when very often the people them do have a business with we the people them do ever see them do ever see you and whatever and you just assume say them not like you or you assume say them hate you or you assume say them a fight against you or them a bad mind you when yeah that is a common thing in a Jamaica too every minute you know some we feel say somebody a bad mind me or whatever when the people in them own world, I deal with them own challenges and them own tribulations, you know, and, uh, and I deal with them own struggles. And I try to figure out for them in a life. And you there, they judge them. And I put even more burden upon them and crosses upon them that they are not guilty of. So it was a lesson for me last night. And is one where 
slapped me on for my wrist and said, all right, you will learn from this. So and next time you have the opportunity now to do better, to, um, if, you know, some circumstances or somebody's relating to you a certain way or you perceive that in a void of direct evidence stating that the person is actually doing what you think they're doing in a negative, then you have to be careful about the assumption where you make. I won't, all right? So big up that lady there and thing, all right? And big up everybody who did their auntie Donna thing last night. Everybody who watch it and thing, all right? Bless up on yourself, see? Araga, it's the same one. Miss Jerry Washbelly. Love and blessings. Laugh, learn, and grow. That's all the thing there.